Hi, my name is Jorezi Contreras Herrera, and for my first project, I got injury prevention. So I chose to do injury prevention for a dancer, specifically targeted towards ankle injuries. So what are the different types of ankle injuries that are most common for a dancer? First is lateral ankle sprains. Lateral ankle sprains are just caused by an inversion movement of your foot that causes damage to your lateral ankle ligaments, being the ACFL, CFL, and the PTFL. This is common for dancers due to a constant fast movement and the chances of, your, of you landing on your foot weirdly are high without proper technique. Also, if a dancer is in ballet or dances on point, if they don't have the proper ankle strength to hold up their body weight, it is easy for them to sprain their ankle that way as well. The next common ankle injury is tendonitis. There is no one specific type of tendonitis that is more common than another, Dancers can get extensive tendonitis, Achilles tendonitis, and peroneal tendonitis due to how much they overuse their feet and their ankles. The next common injury are, are fractures. Dancers can get fractures anywhere on their feet, but are the most common on the fifth metatarsal and the base of the fifth metatarsal. The final ankle injury is plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is caused by high intensity repetitive movement. So again, it makes sense that this is the most that this is common in dancers due to so many routines including intense and fast movements. For my project, I chose to work with some girls on the South Tahoe dance team. My first client is Tegan Clem. Tegan is a sophomore at STHS and has been dancing for 13 years. This is her second year on the South Tahoe dance team and she has a history of ankle instability. However, she has never been diagnosed or treated for any ankle injuries. My next client is Lily Irwin. She is a junior at STHS and has been also dancing for 13 years. This is her third year on the dance team, and she joined my project to improve her technique and strengthen her ankles. Lily Irwin was actually diagnosed with a grade two concussion towards the beginning of doing my program. It wasn't due to the exercises, she was actually hit by a car door, but this concussion may have had an effect on her final results due to the adjustments that we had to do to her program. My next client is Quinn Douglas. They have been dancing since they were three years old, and as a sophomore, this is their second year as on the STHS dance team. Quinn actually has a history of lateral ankle sprains and has gone through multiple physical therapy sessions and rehab for their ankle. They joined my program and able to strengthen their ankle before this year's season. My last client is Eileen Busalaki. I'm so sorry, I never double checked to learn how to pronounce her last name, but Eileen is a freshman and her, and this is her first year on the South Tahoe dance team. She joined my project because she wants to work towards stronger ankles. I was actually able to get a video of Quinn's lateral ankle sprain that she suffered from last year. So I'll show that right now for you guys. And this is cool. My exercise programs and my goals. My goal for this program were to mainly focus on ankle sprains since they are the most common ankle injuries for my for the dan for dancers. I wanted my clients to be able to gain proper technique and prepare their ankles for all the fast paced movement and direction changes that there is in our dance routines. Also help them strengthen their ankle so they can improve things such as fuetes, pirouettes, and be able to hold things like releves for longer. And also just help them become a better dancer overall. For my program, I, I worked with Coach Elliot, and he taught me all the different ways that I could accomplish my goals. With the help of Coach E, I decided to make two days for my program. I made exercises for linear days and for side days. I gave these exercises to my clients and instructed them to switch off between the linear and side days with a day of rest in between. My goal with these programs is to not only help the ankle with forward and back movement, but also side to side and diagonal movement. Dancing is not just one direction. It is multiple, so preparing the ankle for movement from all sides is crucial for ankle injury prevention. Also, for my program, 
I wanted to make it clear that ankle injury prevention didn't just mean range of motion and strengthening exercises, but should also include plyometric exercises. Plyometric exercises is a type of exercise training that uses speed and force of different movements to build muscle power. Slow range of motion and strengthening things are very important for injury prevention, but are mainly used after an injury instead of before an injury. So big shout out to Coach Elliot for teaching me all these new things and helping me create my program. To measure the result of my program, I chose to count how many single leg calf raises my clients can do on each leg before fatigue. For my baseline measurements, as you can see, majority of my clients for the right had 30, and for the left, it was around 30 as well. The exact average for the right was 27.5, and the exact average for the left was 27. After two weeks of switching between linear and side days every other day, the average single leg calf raises for the right was 40.75 and the average on the left was 43.25. So there is a large difference and improvement after the program. After getting their final measurements, I asked my clients to give me their opinion and critiques on the program. All of them had positive response and majority of them said that they have felt a difference during dance and dance team practices. Although Lily Irwin was not able to do some of the exercises, she had also gained improvement just from the range of motion and strengthening exercises. Thank you so much for watching my presentation. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask them now.